Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Paradise. I'm your host, Chris, here with my co-host, Tyler. Say hello, Tyler. Hi, everybody. Now, I don't know about you, Chris, but this game captures the vibes perfectly of watching Paul on Blu-ray in a hot tub. <laughs> I think you're right. I think I think you're right. Yeah. If not, it is on par and equal to uh, those vibes. And this is sparking. Why is it sparking? We're oh. about to find out. This is uh, the back entrance to Doom Jazz's clinic, so we'll have a look at it while we're down here. Oh, I thought the clinic was on the boat. Nope. It's uh, it's actually upstairs from here in Syndicate headquarters. Uh, uh, we've seen the uh, we've seen the uh, regular entrance up above before, but we didn't uh, look at it before. We just uh, kind of walked by. Anyway. I get mad when I think about back doors too. <laughs> so does Doom Jazz. Yeah, he's like, hey. He's like, hey, whoa, front door. <laughs> now, also, uh, not only can you survive high jumps, you can also walk on wet, slippery moss. That's incredible. You are a god. It's true. Yeah. I mean, if any mortals were here, they'd crack their skulls open just by taking two steps here. No wonder nobody's found these blood crystals. Yeah. All right, so we're going around this away. way uh, Syndicate headquarters is right above us right now. Um, and we've got, if I can make this jump, there we go. Interesting. So this that... is the uh, Syndicate apartments over here. Ooh. We'll be going there to visit Witness to the End shortly. And over here are the gardens. Ooh, I don't you've been here before. Yeah. Statue garden. Uh, let's get rid of that annoying sound. I find it interesting that uh, Headquarters has Acon units like up the wazoo, all over the roof, but under their building, there's no pipes, there's no sewage. Hmm, interesting. Maybe nobody poops in paradise. That's fucked up, but they do get hot, I guess. All right, we gotta say another save point here. I'm gonna unlock this one. And what did we get? Beautiful. Somebody gives you an iPhone, and the only image on it is the uh, picture of your future demise. What would you do? <laughs> ah, so this is a pamphlet about the gardens. To who? Who, does, who do they give this to? Uh, visitors, obviously. You mean the people they abduct? I don't even. I don't know if they're even allowed. To be honest, I guess so. This is. Uh... Well, well, we'll get to that in a minute. First off, let's talk to this ghost. There's ghosts uh, here now, by the way. Oh, sick. It's like in real life. Where? Where am I taking you? The ritual. It. It's a diamond. He's describing a diamond. <laughs> Maybe. We're gonna help him. Let's help. Find your stone. 
Let's go find your stone on the beach. Unfortunately, he says it's in the park between the citizen and syndicate apartments. Oh, we were just looking at that, were we? We were just looking at the syndicate apartments. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see the park in a minute. Uh, we can go look for it once we eventually go there. Nope, logged in starlight. Yeah, there are ghosts on the island. Uh, generally, these will take the form of. Uh, well, we've already met one, of course. Uh, but that was a syndicate ghost. These are the citizen ghosts. They are not granted the dignity of a former model of a. What you might call it, a drawn model. They're just a shape. <laughs> yeah, so they, somebody really went to town and just edited out the Getty images of Watermark on the silhouette <laughs> JPEG. So yeah, these are the syndicate apartments here. Uh, and then the citizen apartments are down over there. You can kind of see one apartment block over there. And the nice. rest are kind of hidden behind there. So there's a park in between them we'll go look at eventually. But for now, we're just going to hop into this vending machine right here. Use it. Use it. Just wanted to grab a quick beverage to start off our day. And have you ever tried to drink soda like the way the mouth is on that vending machine? No, I never have. I have. It's pretty hard. What's your favorite drink that is marketed at a woman, but you are not a woman? What is my favorite drink that's marketed as a woman, but I'm not a woman? Marketed for women, but not a woman. You are. Uh, mm. I don't know. When I was younger, I tried tab soda. I thought that was okay. Uh, <laughs> I really, I really don't like aspartame. So diet, diet coke or DC is out of the picture for me. Fair. I'd say maybe Fresco. I don't know. I don't, it's hard to think of any feminine sodas. I can only think of masculine ones like Darker Pepper Ten. <laughs> well, we've got some tears. A tear necklace. I can wear these while I drink my girly soda. <laughs> There's another save point, like, literally, like, right here. I don't know why they're so close together. That's for but... people who really need it. And I mean, all the power I'm, to them. I'm a sucker oh, no, for no, no. skins, so. No, no, skins nice. Blades that glimmer in the moonlight. Yeah, so you'll notice that actually this ramp, I, I noticed that I mentioned that the citizens do have access to this area because uh, up here is Syndicate Headquarters. There's a nice camera right here. Uh -huh. and this is where we were earlier. But you'll notice that this is normally a gate that's locked. We're going to get into this computer in a minute uh, that shows the access logs. But if you're a citizen, you can enter this lovely cage here. Oh, man. To access citizen services. So. It's just like my favorite movie, Children of Men 2006. Imagine if you had to go to City Hall and like you were like locked in a cage before you got to go to see the mayor or whatever. Why are you saying that like that's not a real thing? <laughs> I guess they do things differently on the West Coast. Yeah, what the fuck is a lobby even to you? Computer. Very cool that the Nightmare uh, interface has 56k dial-up sounds. <laughs> Truly a nightmare. Uh, we've got this guy, this guy. In the horns. Okay, and like I said, these are not very difficult puzzles, but, you know, I'm not going to give too much commentary on them, but uh, yeah. they are puzzles. Where's the other horn? Am I crazy? Uh, I think it's to... Mm. Wait, it's the round one. Thank you. I knew I was crazy. I thought it was crazy, too, because that, the angle of that didn't look right to me, so I didn't think of it. Do you ever get, like, caught up on, like, sliding puzzles, where it's like you got to complete an image? Yeah, I've never been any good at those, to be honest. Yeah. It's one of those things I'm not very good at either, but... You know, I don't get as mad as some people do. <laughs> How'd you get mad at a video game? So as we've kind of seen our, uh, for our own self, like, uh, there's only really one way into the council building, and it's through this very gate. So if Henry did make it up here, chances are he came through here. So this checks out. She said she went to visit Witness. Yuri also left. 
Doom Jazz did not leave, so he was here the whole time. He could have jumped off the roof because nobody dies in this world. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, he'd have to get to the roof, and to get to the roof, he'd have to get here also. So oh, That's true. All right, so that's a bit more information. I love how everybody has fantastical names, and then there's Henry. Henry Division, yeah. Oh, his name's Henry Division. He does have a bit of a weird name. It's true. I I forgot it was I forgot Division was part of his name. I take it back. <laughs> All right, we'll head back down now and uh, into the gardens. Got Shinji down here. I felt very edified by that conversation. Yeah, man, I'm just asking questions. Come on. In my head, we discussed Proust. <laughs> Alright, so here's Yuri Knight, another member of the Syndicate. We'll chat with him uh, later on. Uh, but first, I'm gonna. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say something dumb. <laughs> Whoa, it's raining. Well, that was fast. Oh, uh, yeah, it does rain even in paradise from time to time. Well, how else do you know if it's paradise if it doesn't rain once in a while? It's true. Relic obtained. Mmm, coffee. Indefinable spectrum. I'm reading the can, but the text is right above it. That's how dumb I am. <laughs> Also, I love these statues. They look very, like, uh, early CG texture for me in a way that's very... Yeah, they look like the wireframes from uh, Super Smash Brothers to me. Ooh. I never really played Super Smash Bros. Any of them? Really? Hmm, that's surprising. Yeah, I think the amount of times I've played it, I can count on, like, one hand. Fair. I do not have many opinions of uh, Super Smash Bros. I do know that Ultimate's very good. That's all the characters. It's the ultimate one. So we've been getting these island sequence uh, mementos in order, to my surprise. Uh, maybe that was by purpose, on purpose, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to try and get them all in order on purpose. I'm <laughs> just doing it as I come, but it is nice to see that they are learning things about the world. So, uh, yeah, it's funny because the gods are worshipped, but they are also they also bring demons along with them and are like demons themselves in some sense. So, you know, well, I think like, oh, but she is that water. Yeah, it's delicious water. There's no water problems here. Avatar to the wave water. <laughs> I'm from Joyzy. Hey, let's go get subs at Wawa. <laughs> All right. And I'll get here. Gods bring demons with them because uh, everything is informed by its opposite pole of the binary. Hmm. I forget who said that. Was that Baudrillard or Foucault? God only knows. I... I have to work really hard to convince people that uh, I don't just watch like video essays on repeat to learn philosophy. And I've only actually read one book. What? No, I've read a book. Uh, it was the Bible. I read the, ma the manga action Bible. It's the, only way got it's the only way I was able to read it from start to finish. Okay. Come on now. I got caught on the rock there. I'm very gifted at platforming games, as you can see. Sick. There I think you're go. doing great. Thanks. So yeah, we're at the base of the building now. Uh, the council building. Got a... Uh, interesting thing down here. Why would you litter? It's paradise. That's why Paradise was killed, Tyler. Because of littering. Oh, God. Yeah. You made that 
Italian man in uh, red face cry. Oh and God, right. now, now look what's happened. My God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that commercial. <laughs> it's awful for so many reasons, but we definitely do not have time while we are investigating this bottle with blood in it. <laughs> the investigator is here. Yeah, so this is, it's tough to tell because of how uh, concrete it is. Oh. But if, if you do this sneaky thing that I totally did on purpose and fall in the water, you will see that we are actually directly underneath this bridge where Henry was found. You faced God and literally walked backwards into hell. Good job. <laughs> that was not on purpose, but uh, that was fortuitous. <laughs> so yeah, we can get some visual sense of the crime scene now. But there is one more thing down here, so I'll just Looking uh, away. head on down. You uh, dropped your crystal water. Pepsi. <sighs> Why is there? Why'd you put a pocket of deep water there? Just make it all shallow water. Sheesh. I'm just right. playing it. Yes. There we go. There's one more thing underneath the council building. As we're the type to root around underneath things where people throw garbage, there's another piece right here. Hey. Which is right underneath. Uh, up here is that broken grate we saw earlier. Oh. The investigator is here. Don't you inscribe your weapons like that? <laughs> Excellent question. Did you like me, Lydia? No. <laughs> Sam is uh, Lydia's bow. I don't know what their exact relationship is. I forget. If like bow like what, a weapon but... or bow like a weird animal name that I'm unfamiliar <laughs> with? I'm not sure what their relationship is exactly. I think they're they're functionally a married couple. So... Me and my chair we'll are with functionally that for now. a couple. You wish. Uh, okay. There's no blood on it. And a nicked blade. So you don't get your knives at army surplus. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, great. So now we've fully uh, explored the gardens and this area underneath the council building. We can go back and have a chat with Yuri, who's everyone's favorite character. Yeah, I love Yuri Gagarin. I can't believe he's in this game. I know, right? Soviet hero. What was it like meeting Laika? <laughs> Honestly, it's really, it's kind of cool to think about Belka and Stroka are the beloved ones in Russia, whereas Laika is celebrating the West for their failure. He's Carmelina's secretary. And he loves us. He looks like Colin Space Twinks. I mean, that in the nicest way possible. So he's a kangaroo. Born in Island Sequence 15. So he was born bef after our exile. Pathetic. Let's be. You know, let's be snide. That was uncalled for. Fair. Hey, she's making. Oh my god, they're all. <laughs> yeah, get used to seeing this sour puss face from Yuri. <laughs> oh, everyone's just like uh, snarling right now, like. <laughs> Got it. You've got nothing on me.
uh, let's just say we're glad to be back. <laughs> uh, tricked, you are being sarcastic again. Insufferable. Interesting. You're, you're being very toxic right now. I don't like it. Now, now. Uh, is that any way to talk about our favorite character? Yuri Knight, yeah. All right. I like Yuri, but I hate him. Let's uh, talk about the case files. Same as we've always had. We can ask him about other... Basically, we can ask new people about other people's alibis, whether they can confirm or deny them. So we'll get into that. But let's start off with... Uh, what we've been starting off with, uh, if he has any suspicions of who could have committed the crime. Seems pretty certain it was Henry, but never hurts to ask. Yeah, cover all your corners. Yes. Okay. He's like, look, we're all we're all like scheming assholes, but that doesn't mean we did murder. Fair. Yeah, we're, we're at the Algonquin round table of murder. <laughs> all playing right. pranks on each other. It's very strange. To be fair, it's hard to get, uh, it's hard to be too suspicious about it, given that we pressed him to say something that he was suspicious about. He's like, all right, fine. <laughs> if you insist, I will. But yes, he is, uh, he's pinning Crimson Acid, someone we have yet to even really see much about, but we'll get to her. Don't worry. It's a pretty cool name, to be fair. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Get his alibi. Make sure that he's uh... where. Where was you last night? I was at a different crime scene. So yep. Uh, does he have a? F we can we can uh, demand that he give us our phone. Give us his phone. Do you have any you games on your phone? <laughs> He's got Minecraft. Do you want the phone? Yes. <laughs> what? No, I want to play Roblox and get those child slaves to code for me. But this is to verify his alibi. In other words, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> if he was doing, uh, if he was uh, calling Lydia as he claims, then his phone records would indicate that he was here. Well, not until I've finished. Got it. My work is more important than yours. Sorry. Maybe you maybe you should have committed a murder, and then you can be busy. Doing doing the bad cop routine. Can't have two bad cops, that's just being a bully. We got flip phones. Hell yeah. Oh, one of them just have like a Nokia N gauge. It's like, look, you can play Tony Hawk on it. All right. So we'll have to find a comms tower to verify uh, Yuri's location. But yeah, let's uh, let's get get moving through the rest of these. Uh, some right. minor crimes like KHX is missing. Does, do you know? KHX quest.
No. <laughs> He's very busy. He's very busy. All right. What's that book uh, he's carrying? We might find out. Uh, Crimson, he's mentioned that she has a motive. What does he think it is? Tell me how King Crimson works. So, yeah, Crimson is an idol, basically. And in, you know, the sense that she's kind of like the mascot, you'll notice that uh, you'll see her a lot. I think, actually, we have already seen her in advertisements and such. Oh. Uh, if you've... Yeah. She the one he thinks she's a traitor, so let's get into that. Okay. Yes. So this is another thing that Crimson does, is uh, she sells secrets. <laughs> to who? <laughs> to whoever's buying. She is an information dealer. I feel like if you're impervious to following, like there's a lot of... I don't know how information <laughs> could possibly hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe they just got springy shoes. It doesn't mean that, you know, I mean, clearly all the syndicate are dead, we think. Or all of the council are dead, rather, we think. So, you know, oh, springy shoes can only get you so far. That's true. Uh, you're worried, question mark. Mm -hmm. are you, is that why you don't like Crimson? Because she's got information on you, right? Yeah, she's the Doom Slayer. Hmm. Uh, let's be skeptical. Just speculation. Insufferable. But, oh. you know, that it's fair, you know. We're asking him to talk about his suspicions. He doesn't have any facts, but we didn't ask him for those, so. Yeah, yeah. Also, it looks like he's carrying, like, an IBM ThinkPad. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Let's ask about the second Holy Seal. Space. Because, well, first we'll ask him about it. But remember, yeah. the space helmet we found had a bunch of flower petals in it. Which was cool as hell. I love that mm -hmm. sequence. And Yuri does have uh, a bunch of flowers in his hair. Or on his hat, rather. So we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. But let's ask if he knows about it first. All right. Okay, but the space helmet. It's not that tenuous, man. Come on. It's visual association. It's very easy, actually. All right, let's uh, cross-check some alibis here, Carmelina. Okay, he has no corroboration. Tell me about the, the murder. I did it. Fuck. <laughs> and he can't corroborate, obviously, because uh, Doomjazz was in the clinic all night, according to him. Yeah. All right, and the first Holy Seal. He knows nothing. Now let's hang out with him. Yes, let's hang out with this guy, because we this... love him so much. I, he's so fun to be around. What do you want, freak? It was a question, but uh, we can also explain the use of language to him if you'd like. Uh, you know, that'd be fun. Why not? Let's explain the use of language. I had to do that the other day, actually. <laughs> he is violating a Gricean maximum, or a Gricean maxim right now, but, uh, you know, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get over it. Also true. 
Can he just not read intonation? Do we actually want to know about him? Yeah, let's know about him. Okay. I was born in northern Florida. I had a little brother, and he died in the wash tub. Damn. That was the plot to Ray, Yuri. Are you telling me a blind man saw Ray? Yuri does have a rags to riches story, apparently. Yeah. How do you do that with your lip like that? This has been delightful. A relationship increased. Somehow. Now we have a rapport. We do indeed have a rapport with Yuri. So. I like how, you know what? You know how you know he's kind of a villain? When he said goodbye, he said, may you go to the moon, as in to the moon, as in he's a crypto bro, so I don't like him. <laughs> Got some more music here. Hell yeah. This one's called... <laughs> Lady Blue. Can I buy Another good a feeling? Alright, and before we head on to the rest of the island, there's one more little secret uh, hidden over here. I have no secret. idea why this is so well hidden, but down underneath here, there's a blood crystal. Hey. Crystal Not much else down here. Just a maintenance area, but like to get here, there's this like long gangplank that goes all the way over there. What? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I, that makes sense, I guess. Oh. But here we are. At the next area where we're going to be heading to, which is the Citizen Apartments. That's infrastructure, baby. Alright, and I believe... Yeah, here, oh, here it is. The next save point is right here. The teenager's away. <laughs> so we'll unlock... Our final skin of the video. Warmth of the Moon. That is actually kind of nice. Let's see. Let's uh, slap that baby on. Why not? Beautiful. That's the perfect background for when you're holding your lover in your arms. All right, and let's remember to save our game, leading to a happier paradise. Getting saved. Beautiful. And uh, we'll call the episode there. So next time, we'll continue to explore the citizen apartments and speak with more island residents. But uh, for now, if you have been, thanks for watching. Do not go to the moon. It's always may looking the, at you. May the silent goat walk with you. May the wind be at your back. Paradise Killer.